everyone. Hi, welcome. This is going to be a 40 minute swing and snatch workout. You just need one bell. So ladies, I suggest a 20 or a 25 pound bell. Guys, 30 or 35 pounds. Welcome. And let me know where you're coming in from, where you're joining me from. Hi, everyone. All right, 40 minutes, one bell and a block or a large book. We're gonna use that as a target for push-ups later on. Okay, let me know where you're coming in from. And we're gonna start the warm-up. So let's come to the mat. Make sure, okay. Let's get started warming up with cat-cow. So come into a quadruped position, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips and as you push the ground away you're going to curl your spine look to your navel tuck your pelvis under that's your exhale reverse it tail up face up inhale exhale curl push the ground away inhale arch keep going like that push the ground away curl use your breath inhale Exhale, inhale. Really important to warm up before we get into the ballistic movements of swings and snatches. One more time, exhale, inhale. Good, come to tabletop, tuck your toes and come into down dog, pushing your chest toward your thighs, trying to drop your heels into the floor. If you're just joining, you just need one bell, ladies 20 or 25 pounds, guys 30 or 35 pounds, and let's bend one knee, push the opposite heel down, and then change. Let's go about four times like this. Change again. And one more time. Good, push both heels down and lift your heels high on the balls of feet, almost to your toes, and lower your heels four more times. Lift and lower, lift, lift, and once more, lift, lower. Good, lift one leg up, flex the foot, and now bring that knee to the same side elbow, coming into a plank position. Make contact, lift that leg again. Push the opposite heel down as you reach the leg up. Come to plank, draw the knee to the elbow. Two more times, up with the leg. Draw the knee in, and once more. Good, come back to down dog. Let's go on the other side. Lift the leg high and then draw the knee to the elbow. Up, try to reach a little higher each time. Bring it in two more times. Bring it in. Good, come back to plank. Drop your knees wide and sit back to child's pose. Just reach your arms forward. Drop your head for a moment. Good. All right, I'm gonna check in and then we're gonna continue the warm up. So if you're just joining, you want one bell, fairly light, 20 or 25 pounds for the ladies. Let me know where you're coming, where you're joining you from. 30 or 35 pounds. Okay, Beth, for the guys and either a block or a large book. Okay, let's continue the warm up. I just wanna make sure you can see me, you can hear me. Good, all right. So now, lie on your back and let's go with bridges. So we're going to get the glutes and the hamstrings warmed up. Keep your rib cage heavy, don't arch as you lift your hips. Lift, keep your ribs heavy to the ground. You might even get a stretch through the top of your quads and lower. Let's go for 15. Two, pushing the ground away. Six, seven, eight, 
This is 10. Let's go five more. Three, two, and one more. Good. All right, warming up the front line. Let's go into dead bug. Reach your arms to the ceiling with the palms facing each other. Bring your legs up, knees bent, and then send your thighs away from you slightly. Keep your lower ribs on the ground. Now on your inhale, just extend one leg till it's a few inches from the floor. Keep your ribs down. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, the other leg extend. Exhale, bring it back. Very slow, one more time. One leg. Focus on those lower ribs staying down on the ground as you extend your leg. Other side. Now, let's bring the opposite arm to extend back as the leg goes. So again, inhale. Reach an opposite arm and leg apart. Exhale, bring back. Other side, inhale. Exhale, bring back. One more time each way. Inhale. Exhale. Last side. X. Good. All right. Come on to your forearm plank. You can either have your legs stacked or staggered. All right. Let's just stay up in your side plank for 30 seconds. I've got the clock. So this hand can either be on your hip, reaching up or here. So today I'm not wearing any shoes. When I train for kettlebell sport, it's mandatory to wear shoes when you compete. So I do wear shoes. But for today, I want to just have my feet bare. So it's up to you. You can either go with some kind of flat sneaker, five more seconds, or barefoot. But just if you're wearing a shoe, time. Change sides. Don't wear hokas or anything that creates a rocking that's not appropriate for kettlebells or weightlifting. Let's go on the other side, 30 seconds, and then we'll get into it. Breathing. So we're going to do a lot of swing work today, which is going to enhance your grip strength, your back strength and endurance, and of course your glutes and hamstrings, as well as cardio. Three, two, and time. Okay, I'm going to check in with you one more time. Ladies, one bell, 20 or 25 pounds, guys, 30 or 35 pounds, and either a block or a large book. Hi, Letty. Okay. Are we ready to go? Let's do it. So I'm going to break down the movements that we're going to do, and then we're going to put it all together into a series. So the first thing is the dead swing. So we're going to take the kettlebell from the floor and bring it back to the floor. Let me just show you first. So create your tripod stance. You want to be behind the bell so that you have room to pull it back. Now, this dead swing, this back swing is very powerful using your lats. And the legs are not going to move. You're going to stay in this pitched over position. Pull, touch it down. So do this with me. Pull, touch it down. Pull. Touch it down. So the wrists, the forearms are coming right to your crotch, right here. What you don't want to do is this. Okay? You don't want to be gentle with it at the initiation of the movement. You want to drive it from the floor like a rocket. So let's go three more times. Pull, touch down. Pull, one more. Pull. That's your first movement. Now, dead swing, we pull, goes back through and down. Let's go for 10 of these. Ready? Pull. Exhale. Big pull. Pull. 
Big pop. Drive your legs down to get the bell up. Six. Seven. One more. Okay, that's your dead swing. Let's go into now continuous swings for 10. So you're gonna bring the bell up the same way, but now we're just gonna go with the pendulum of the bell. Again, always exhaling on the upswing. So no matter what method you're using, whether it's kettlebell sports style like I do, or high tension style, both of them have a rule of exhaling on the upswing, always. So make sure you're getting that. Let's go for 10 swings, continuous. Five more. And easy down. Continuous swings. Okay, next one. We're gonna go with swings with a jump. So you're gonna do the same thing you just did. As the bell comes up, you're gonna bring your legs together and open like a jumping jump. If you can't jump, or if you don't wanna jump, you're gonna just step in, step open. Step in, step open. Okay, so if you're stepping, right and left would be one rep. You're gonna go for five. If you're jumping, it's gonna be 10. If you don't wanna count it, we'll just finish together. Okay, but take your version. So continuous swings with either steps or jumps as the bell comes up. Here we go. Two more. That's it. Getting the heart rate up. Okay, next, we're gonna go with single arm swings. The way I do it, when the bell goes through, there's a little rotation of the trunk and then straighten out as the bell comes up. So, in the style I employ, we use, there's a little rotation. So do the version that you, you know or that you like. So we're gonna go 10 on each side. Ready, single arm swing. Get that exhale on the effort, which is bringing it up. Two more. This one switches, 10 on the other side. Two more. Easy down. Single arm swing. Now, let's go into the snatch. We're gonna put this all together in a moment. So the snatch, is a big pendulum. So you're going into your single arm swing, lean back slightly, keep directing that bell up, and then you're gonna slip your hand through the handle. Make sure, try. Your objective is to get this handle on a diagonal in your palm at the top. So you're never here like cranking your wrist or anything like that. So let's go for a total of 10. Snatches. I'm gonna go first five, bring it up, rack, and then go into your next swing. So that, that's an option for you if you wanna do that version or if you wanna do the full snatch. I'm gonna do the first five, half snatch, and the second five, full. Let's bring it down to the floor in your tripod stance. And let's begin all the way up, rack. Spill it away for your next pendulum. One more like this, and then, and then I'm gonna go into the full one. Continue the way you want to. 
Work with the pendulum, not against it. One more. And now we're gonna switch sides. Up, rack, spill it away. Next swing, up. Okay, now I'm gonna go for full snatch. Up. Two more. Now, the last movement of the series is gonna be low swings with switches. This is where your grip, your back, endurance will really kick in. So it's one low swing. The next one switches. We're going to do five each side. Okay, let's go. Low swing, pull it back, up, up and switch. Up and switch. You're still breathing. One more each side. Good. Now, if you want to work your grip on your own, you can do that for 10 minutes straight. And when that's doable, go to your heavier weight. So as part of my accessory training, there are days when I'll do this swing with switch for 10 minutes with the 24 kg. Let me tell you, it's, it's incredibly challenging and incredibly beneficial. So those are all the movements. Now, let's put them together in one series, continuous. I'm gonna check in with you. Everybody doing okay? Good, all right, let's put it all together. So we're starting with 10 dead swings. Oh, I just wanna mention one thing. I said that there's always an exhale on the upswing. If you feel like you need more breath, you're not getting enough breath, you absolutely can give another exhale on the backswing, but it's more of a sigh. It's not like a power exhale. So let me show you what that would sound like. If you need more breath, it would sound like this. Okay, and maybe I'll do that when we're in the middle of the series. So when you need it, there's no reason why you can't add more breath. There's no rule that you can't. So let's start with your dead swings. 10, ready, pull back. Five more. Two more. One more, and then we're going into continuous swings. Continuous for 10. One. Five more. Two more, and then jumps or steps. Ready? Jump or step. 10. Two more. Single arm for 10. Here we go. Two more. Switch. 10. Two more. 
switch. Ready, swing, snatch, up. You can continue with a full snatch if you want. Breathing. I'm gonna do one more like this, and then continuous. Two more. One more. And now we're gonna go on the other side. Changing, and up. Work with the pendulum. Now I'm gonna go continuous. Here we go, five more. One more. Switch, now we have swing, swing change. Ready? Swing, change. One. Two, stand up, each swim, stand up, three, four, one more, that's it, all right, heart rate's up, good, grab some water if you need it, now we work the posterior chain, our back, our glutes, our hamstrings with all of those movements. So now let's get some anterior chain with push-ups. This is where we'll use your boat or your block. So we're gonna go three counts to lower, one count to push, just eight. So it looks like this. Three, two, one, push. Now if you're, you have trouble with push-ups, then raise your block and just do the negative. Don't go to your knees. Just do the negative. Three, two, touch, rest. Three, two, one, rest. That's how you'll do it. If you're just starting push-ups or push-ups are really tough for you, that method will get you stronger. Let's go for eight. Ready? And we're lowering. Three, two, touch, push. Two, Touch, push, slow, two, three, push, slow, two, three, push, slow, push, three more, slow, two, three, push, one, two, three, last one, one, two, three, push, that's it. All right, my nose always runs when I get my heart rate up. So I'm gonna take a tissue, grab some water. We're going around again. Is everybody okay? Good, good. All right, let's go again. Come on, now we're all warmed up. Dead swings for 10 and then into continuous swings for 10. Let's start, you're in your tripod stance, forceful back swing on each time. This is a really powerful move. Let's begin, pull. Big pull. Three more. One more and then continuous. Good, let's go continuous. One. Two more and then jumps. Jump or step. Ten.
Two more. Good. Now single arm swing. I'm going to, I'll demonstrate loudly the double breath. That's what it would sound like. Two more. And switch. Ten. Stand up. Now we've got snatch. Ready? Here we go. Up. Try to slip your hand in deeply so your wrist is straight at the top. You should be able to hold this position for a minute or two. So stack your bones. Five more. Last one. Okay, I'm gonna change sides. And let's go up. Either bring it to the rack or bring it straight down. Three more. One more and then swings with switches. Okay, bring it down, change sides. And we go one swing, swing switch. One. Two. Three. One more each. Good. All right, push ups. Push ups, same way. Don't go to your knees. Raise the block up if you need to. All right, three counts to lower, one count to come up, eight reps. Here we go. Lower. Three, two, touch. Push. Three, two, touch. Push. Three, two, touch, push. Three, two, touch, push. Three, two, touch. Three more. Three, two, touch, push. Three, two, touch. Last one. Three, two, touch, push. Good. All right, quick sip of water. We're going around one more time. Okay. Good. We're going around one more time. Stay with me, we're almost done. Keep using your breath, keep using your legs. Okay, last time. Let's go for 10 dead swings. Tripod stance, stay low. Big pull. Three more. One more. And then continuous. Here we go, 10. Three more and then jump or step. One more, jump or step.
Two more. Single arm swing. If you need that extra breath. Two more. Switch. After this, it's 10 snatches. Stand up. Two more. Change and go all the way up. Bring it to the rack or bring it straight down. Let that bell go back so you're creating a pendulum to bring it back up. Three more. One more. And make your way to the other side. 10. I don't know why I'm facing this way the whole time. Let me change. Work with the pendulum. Two more. And now switch. And we're going to go into swing and switch. One swing, swing, switch. One. Stand up. Two. Three. Four. Last one here. Good. Okay. Nice work. One more time for push-ups. Again, three counts down, one count up for eight reps. Okay, take your plank position. Let's begin. Three, two, touch, push. 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 Touch, three more, three, two, touch, push, three, two, touch, one more, three, two, touch, push, good, good, good. All right, let's just go with one more ab drill. So come on to your back. Heels, feet on the ground. And you're going to keep your head and shoulders lifted. Hands, arms off the floor. Left fingers to left toes. So you're laterally flexing for getting your obliques. And then right to right. Okay, let's go for 20. Your head and shoulders stay up. Touch. Other side, touch. Two. Three. Four. Squeezing down on your sides. Five, six, seven, eight. Stay up with your shoulders. Ten. Last ten. Eight, seven, five. Three, two, one, and one. Good, lie on your back, reach your arms out above your head, reach your legs long, flex your feet, push energy through your heels, reaching apart, and then hug one knee into your chest, 
Take your left knee. Hug it in. Straighten that leg up, just holding gently under your hamstring. Point that left foot and flex. Let's go four times. Once more. Good. And then take the right knee in. Hug. Straighten that leg up. Hold behind the hamstring. And let's point and flex. One more. Good. Cross your right knee fully over your left knee, like you're sitting at a cocktail party. And then bring both knees to your right. Look to your left for a spinal twist. And then bring it back, change sides. Left knee is over the right, draw your legs to the left and look to your right. Bring it back to center. Okay, make your way up. If you have any questions, now's the time. And if you want to follow me, I have two Instagram pages. One is at Lorna Clydman. The other one is Kettlebells with Lorna. All right. So two pages. I hope you'll follow me. And if you have any questions, let me know. Let's see. Thank you. Yeah, two, yeah the yoga blocks are really helpful. We're not doing yoga. The blocks are super helpful for so many different movements. Okay, any questions? If not, I will see you next month. And as always, if there are any movements you want me to go over or any questions you have, contact me and um, I'll go over it in the next session, okay? All right, everyone, stay well, have a good month, and I'll see you soon. Bye.